Let me got. tell you about my best, best friend. friend. What's up, you sexy nerds? It's your boy, True, and it's definitely been a long time coming. And, uh, hi, everyone. I'm alive. <laughs> and he with exists. me, I have... Wildfire One! Yay! <laughs> Any little popper. <laughs> Watching and listening, Nerds New Sexy Entertainment, the podcast, episode... 107. Yes, 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 yes. We've been doing this, well, you've been doing this for... Six seasons. Six seasons? How many years is that? Six years? I think we're going... No, no, we're not at no six years. I think we're at three. Damn. Yeah. And I've been here for, like, what, two? Mm, I think you've been here since season four. So, yeah, I think I've been here, like, maybe a year for, or two. Yeah, you've been here for a bit. Maybe a year and a half. So and I was originally a guest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so reminiscing on old times, um, uh, Wild and I have been friends for longer than seven years. Yeah. As opposed to what our friend anniversary thing on Facebook was. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what kind of started this conversation. Is we were talking and i i posted that friend anniversary thing that facebook puts on there yeah. and he's like we've been friends longer than that and i'm like i know but it was cute <laughs> you know we'll, we'll, we'll get into a few things in a minute but you were you we're going to talk about some nerd news right? yes nerd news. nerd news uh we got a uh, end game coming out here soon hell yeah looking forward to that uh new star wars trailer for episode nine and a video game and a video game. Which both look good, but the only thing that worries me is the EA in the title. Eh. You I'm say, not eh, until they start wanting to get our money from us. EA is like the hamburger, except for with your wallet. <laughs> it goes down to that whole DLC thing and pay to win and all that crap, and it's just like... I have faith. I do. Don't get me wrong. I'm not being negative Nancy here. But, you know, kick me once... Shame on you. Kick me twice. Shame on me. Yeah, and that makes sense. We, I mean, how many conversations have you and I had with Battlefront 1 and 2 alone? Well, about how bad Battlefront 1 sucked. Well, I take it back. I liked Battlefront 1, but they fucked us. And with Battlefront 2, they Battlefront also fucked 2, us. Battlefront uh, 2, they did, but I still played it. They're still good games. We played. You and I have played. And they're yeah. still good games. I mean, it does the, just just because what they did to it doesn't make it like unplayable it's still fun well i mean look fun. at final fantasy uh 15 with all their dlc and now it seems like it's never going to be completed from what i was reading yep square enix shame on you for that by the way you should you should know better than to give us promises and then and then Just more or like less like konami yeah you're gonna go the way of konami if you're not careful uh, you know? it's all about the micro games now yeah it's just, yeah screw that you but, know i was uh I was looking into the whole uh, freemium games, and the way they hook you is like they give you a one in two thousand chance of getting this epic loot. So, okay, I'll spend two bucks here. I'll spend another two bucks. Well, you know what? That will give me a boost if I spend ten, and and it just sustains itself out there like a leech or a tapeworm or EA. And it all I knew comes gonna go full with that. circle. I need to but, go that. Yeah, of course. You know me, which, which again, it all comes full yeah. circle because you've known me for a while. Thanks, Facebook, mm -hmm. for fucking that up. But <laughs> um, so we got that. We got the new Child's Play movie coming out. Mm -hmm. uh, with it's voiced, you know, uh, Chucky's voice by Mark Hamill. Great, great, great. Excited for that. Uh, lots of good stuff. I mean, the 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 Lion King movie that's coming out. You know, good old Disney ringing its Aladdin. <laughs> Aladdin, it lo looks good. All of it, that stuff looks good. I'm excited. There's a lot of good movies coming out. Scary, you know, the ch Child's Play, uh, what's that, uh, La Llorona, whatever the fuck. Oh, La Llorona. Thank you. Yeah, La Llorona. She, uh, that's coming out too. And uh, um, I'm kind of yes, excited to see that. For people that don't speak Spanish, it's the Sobbing Woman. 
Or if you're a supernatural fan, it's uh, Woman in White. Woman in White, yeah. I forgot that they 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 kind of changed First season. that. Yeah, that was a yeah. good that was a good episode as well. <laughs> Um, Be sure you check back for that supernatural episode we did on the podcast uh, last year. Good, and that's going. That's actually got its last season coming up, doesn't it? Yeah, that's got its last season. Um, oh, Sam and Dean, I'm sorry. It's okay. It, it, it honestly, they should have went out with a bang. It didn't you know? A whimper, speaking so. of uh, movies, uh, I was having a discuss- discussion with a friend of mine mm-hmm. on how. Uh, one of those guys could be a really good Bruce Wayne, Batman archetype. I'd, I'd like to see Batman and Robin. <laughs> what, could you imagine that? They, be, I mean, that'd be pretty cool. With their acting chemistry, they It'd could pull it off. It'd have to be Nightwing, though, at that point. Oh, yeah, yeah. They'd, you know, you can get Misha Collins to play, like, Tim Drake. <laughs> you know. Or, or maybe, like, a... Maybe a young, young Alfred. Or I they know, but I'm... Look old. Well, no, like the, you, Misha Collins will have to, you know, you'll have to... Castiel will have to be, like, a, one of the bigger characters. You know, he he would be very... He'd be a very good Blue Beetle. I could see that. Yes. He would I be a been... very good Blue Beetle. That If you could recast that whole into, like, a Batman theme, that'd be great. <laughs> yes. Um, but uh, there's another movie coming out. It... Similar to Superman, except uh, what if he was talk. evil? I think I know what you're talking about. I remember I, hearing about I'm trying about to remember this. the name of the damn movie. At, I want to say about oh, two months ago. The name of the movie. And I'm surprised I didn't bring it up. I'm glad you brought it up because that that was a good trailer. And See, that was also that discussion with my friend when we started talking about that. That multiverse thing where, you know, yeah. what if Superman was evil and... Uh, uh, super fucking amazing! Like I saw the the trailer and I about shat my pants. Yeah. And a part of me was going, "What if? What if this is like? What if everyone's just assuming that Superman? But it's way too close. Like they don't say the word Superman in it. It's called something well, they else. can. Uh, well, it's think... called Brightburn. 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 That's right. I don't think it's yeah. a DC movie, huh? DC didn't. Um. That would be why they can't say Superman. Uh, I don't see anything that says yeah. it's a... That's what movie. I thought. But it's it's a close enough to, like, I'm surprised someone didn't get sued this day and age. Like, <laughs> yeah, no kidding. You know what? We gotta have a Grizz reacts to that. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. So, Grizz, when you're watching this eventually, be prepared to watch that. I'm counting on you. <laughs> We're counting on you. It's releasing next month, I believe. Uh, May 24th. Oh hell yeah! I'm gonna watch that. I think we'll even do a freaking uh, review on that movie. That's that's one you and I might have to go see. Maybe yeah, we can we can work because it's out. very interesting. What do you think about Endgame? What do you think is gonna happen? I can do the whole meme thing and talk about Ant Man going into Thanos's asshole and becoming full size, but I don't think you know. anyone would come out of that a normal person. <laughs> Oh, um, <laughs> I don't think Ant Man when Ant Man would come out of that a normal person. There was this funny picture my buddy posted saying if uh, it's an old comic of uh, Thanos riding around in a helicopter. The helicopter, and, I saw yeah. it. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, <laughs> He's that a was funny guy. Funny. That was pretty funny. The Thanos copter. If there's no Thanos copter. We riot. Uh, and that's one of the things I wanted. To, I was going to get into as uh, it's coming out. I'm not going to have any prejudgments, and you know, it's nothing ever lives up to what you hype it to, and that's what sucks about the internet and hype culture of everything. Oh, well, that's the problem with a lot of movies. I think in general, this day and age, is that you'll get a you'll get the first trailer like four or five months before it's even a mm-hmm. thought, and then. Next thing you know, it's so hyped up, you go in, and, and I think this is the problem with the Star Wars movies. Is yeah. That you go in and you see you see it, and your your nostalgia is mixed in, and everything else is mixed in, and of course it's gonna suck. You know, All I know is we need either Luis recapping the entire thing from the Ant Man series. Honestly, that's all I really want. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have an idea for a game review thing that I kind of wanted to do, and. I don't think I'm ever going to get to find the time and effort to, to do it, but I want to recap the entire K 
Kingdom Hearts series like Luis. Oh, that would be fucking great. So maybe look forward to that, nerds. Um, Wild and I would have to come up. We with would a have to collaborate too. on that one. That 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 would be fucking great. Because we could just keep putting clips in and everything like that. It'll be funny. So you heard it first here, nerds. Yes, huh? right on this episode, one hundred seven. <laughs> so when someone inevitably creates it, we're responsible. You're welcome. <laughs> People have asked me. Where are the Press Start Continue reviews, which are going to air here on Nerd? I'm going to get it out there. Reviews are a long process. I have to play the game. I have to develop a script. I have to shoot it. I have to edit it. It's a lot of work, so it's going to take some time. Um, On top of real, you know, your job and on top of life, which we've both been having issues with as Mm -hmm. far as, like, stuff getting in the way. Which is why off and on there hasn't been a podcast the last few weeks. Mm-hmm. You know? And we were going to do... Uh, I'll spoil it. Because uh, it's going to be a while before we can now. Uh, Power Rangers Battle for the Grid. Oh, we got a plan. I was ready to review it. And as I was getting ready, they're getting ready to release a story mode. They're giving some free characters for DLC. And I don't want to do an update video. <laughs> no, there's there's... You might as well wait till it's all out. Right? I'll wait till the story comes out, and then we'll work on it. But it's pretty solid. So, yeah, look forward to that here when they release the story. Yes, there are plans for that one. <laughs> Mini plans. So, you know, there, you know, we got some other things in the mix here. There's a there's a game that you've been working really hard on that we won't... Yeah, yeah, I've uh, hinted a couple times via social uh, media... I almost completely spoiled it on the last uh, Nerd Chronicles, and because those are just uh, one-offs and no script, nothing like that. It's just rolling, and I was like, I should stop right there. <laughs> so, well, the reason the reason nice. we're not giving an, uh, giving a whole the whole thing is because we're we're planning an announcement video. Yeah, we're planning an announcement video, and we're gonna schedule a time when this event's gonna happen, and. Uh, I guess, I guess we can tease that it is my promise that I made a while back. Um, that it's my last, the last official uh, video game stream I'm going to do for uh, Nerds and Sexy. Just to not plug your guys' feed with a bunch of stuff over and over and over and over and over again. Because we like everything nerdy. It's not just games. <laughs> yeah. I mean, don't get us wrong. We will do streaming, but just yeah. not all the time, you know? Yeah, and sometimes it'll be shit. I plan on doing live podcasts eventually on uh, I don't one know, day, whatever. Yeah, on whatever platform we can, we decide to use, or all three, or all twenty. It doesn't matter. We'll figure something out. Yeah, there's there's plans. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. Yeah, we're 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 slowly developing into something, and you know, we've, uh, something more, and we've actually developed. We've come a long way already. Damn it! Don't yeah. judge us. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy! Come on, got some in my teeth. But I, <laughs> I had a, like a like I had I had uh, popcorn earlier and. Oh, I bet you feel like you're in heaven now that you got it out. I hate I fucking hate <laughs> those things. Yep. They get in there and yep. like they annoy you and like sometimes when you when you just try to get them out for like three hours and shit. When they come out, it's like you expect the Final Fantasy like winning music in the background. Da, 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 da. Maybe I'm not editing this out. Anyway. Yeah, it's perfect. Don't bother yeah. editing. Yeah, it's fun. Fuck, fuck this editing shit. <laughs> fuck that. Um, but uh, yeah, another tease about that stream I'm gonna do. It's a classic. We'll leave it, and that's the last of that. It's about as classic as you can get. Mm-hmm. It's not my favorite game, but... Oh, probably not now. It's, oh, shit. <laughs> probably not now. When, when you guys find out what I'm going to be doing, you'll understand. But i um, starting to have, like, dreams about playing it at a time. So. And speaking of dreams, I just realized that right there should give you some nostalgia. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's the same glove I wore when we did that video. <laughs> Oh, uh, now you're breaking the fourth wall. Oh, shit, Monica! <laughs> Grizzly, <laughs> run! 
<laughs> that, that's a great segue. Yes. Segue. Um, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta get like Paul Blart. That's what I was thinking. That was in my head. Like, <laughs> yeah, totally. Fucking like I, I kind of want to make one just for that. Kind of want to make one go across the screen as you say that segue. If if we can find a segue, we gotta do that, and that'll be the graphic for it. Eventually. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and I'll make it like I'll make like everything everything fade out behind the segue. Oh God, that's gonna happen. We're doing that. <laughs> anyway, segue Monica, um, Doki Doki Literature Club. DDLC. Uh, that finished. Finally. Well, mostly. <laughs> well, the ending. We're gonna do a podcast on it in the long run too. Yeah, so. yeah. But the ending wasn't the ending because we broke the game. <laughs> And by that, it was like 9 a.m. in the morning. We had played this game two nights straight. Grizzly had to go home to his hometown, and he was here to visit. And by that time, we were like, fuck this, it's sleepy time. And we're just <laughs> done. I, but the, the, the sad thing is, even after the game was finished, I sat in bed and just thought about everything for like four hours. I and and that's the thing about some of those games, when you think about them as you're going to sleep or... Thinking about them at random times, and turn off. Anal- analyzing it, and all that other stuff. Yeah, your brain just don't turn off, and that's because there were some parts you guys missed, like just because of the route you took. So, so let me go ahead and uh, discuss it really quick. What was just going on? Just explain a little bit. Yeah. yeah, that I played the game originally to get an idea how long it was going to take. Uh. I just was random huh. on what I was doing. <laughs> yeah. I did not pursue Yuri. No. Um, on the second go-around, I pursued uh, Natsuki. Natsuki. Or Natsuki. Or Natsuki. Or Natsuki, or whatever you want to call her. In comparison to both fruits, I say mine was scarier. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll beg to differ slightly, because I've seen your playthrough... Uh, with another person playing it who went through that person and yes the one the thing when you're the talking eyes about start the, creeping out and doing the black thing you're just yes. like oh, okay yes and, and then, then uh, she runs at you after her she breaks her yeah, neck that is creepy as fuck but because i we were playing star wars actually yeah we were we were <laughs> actually playing the the, the uh battlefront, battlefront 2. 2 me you and grizzly <laughs> i think maximus were playing yeah, and, and uh, oh, I God. was on the mic just clicking through, and so we hear, I jump scared. We were, oh, God, out of nowhere. <laughs> we're like, you okay? And he's trying his best not to make it obvious. And I get a text message like, this just happened. And he sent me a picture, <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> you know. I was like, uh, okay, I probably would have screamed a little louder and more girly, but that, yeah, that, that works. <laughs> I get you. And all this, be manly. And this was uh, this was about the time we were planning it out for Grizz. Like, yeah, you know we. And, and that's the thing. Like, I don't I don't like scary games. I really don't. I'm I'm a wuss. I'll play them, and I'll do the like ah, but yeah. and then I'll laugh immediately after to have to consciously not do that and go oh god, oh yeah, that was hard. <laughs> like to hold it back. See that, yeah. that's where I, I am. I love I loved and hate scary games. I don't I don't rage quit games. So I take it back. I do rage quit games, but it takes a lot. Yeah. I scare quit games. If a game scares the shit out of me, and I'll say that I said this story before. I played Silent Hill three, back in the day, and that game is mm-hmm. to this day the scariest game I've ever played. I played that game and something happened and it scared me so much. I said, "Fuck this shit. I'm out. <laughs> I'm done." And I put it down, turned it off. Played a you know played it a little more later on, but never beat it. You know what? Um, maybe you and I ought to go through that for uh, what I do. That's a possibility, or a Halloween episode, something like that. That's what I, I, I can thinking. hold you while while you play, so that way you we feel can safe. snuggle. Yeah. <laughs> oh hell yeah! You had me at snuggle. <laughs> I can't. See, now I you. need to think of like a uh, Holloway or ho- Holloway. Uh, Halloween y type graphic video to, to do throw before those now. <laughs> oh, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Wild 
is a huge Halloween person. In case you didn't know, yeah. if you can't see in the background of some of his paraphernalia, and this uh, this just fully goes circle about our friendship. Um, so I met while what over a decade ago now, right? Yeah, it was quite a while ago. I started a job at a what I thought was going to be an amazing job and. Most so, people do. You can yeah. you can say the name if you want. I mean, for this one, I worked at GameStop. <laughs> dun dun dun! It's, it's, I started back in 2006. I was bright eyed, and the world hadn't kicked me in the nuts enough yet to oh. realize how bad retail is. <laughs> but uh, working there, Wild was a customer. I was a very very satisfied customer because that was one of the only places I could get games. Not yeah. that was a customer, I did work in the same area he did. So Yeah. So he saw me a lot. Yeah, I saw him a lot since, you know. It was in a mall. <laughs> yeah, it was indeed in a mall. So so mall family type thing. Oh, I'm not kidding, like it's a community for sure. Yeah, I I, I remember some of the some of the events that would go on on the mall, like the Halloween events, when oh, you yeah. dressed up. You can up. tell the story. You can tell that story. Go. <laughs> when oh, yeah. you dressed up as a... You were Mario? It's a me! Right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, another friend of ours was Luigi. <laughs> he hated... We, we'd always have this argument where, like, who was better? I was like, what, what's the, who's the name? Who's the game named after, bitch? And he'd be like, Luigi's Mansion. That game sucks. <laughs> Oh, <sighs> you know, there's a there's so many mall stories out there. Uh, maybe and one day we'll do a podcast where we just talk about all the stories. You know? Because there's times where that mall would close, and uh, we were still there, <laughs> and some weird shit went on there too. Weird shit, <laughs> like weird shit. Not not talking kinky like sex shit. No, like weird, sometimes paranormal. Mm-hmm. Weird shit, like, but yeah, you were you so you were you started this with Halloween, yeah, and it kind of goes to that. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, there, there was the paranormal stuff that would happen there, and uh, I remember uh, certain scary games getting like midnight releases, Which such one? as Give World me... of Warcraft. Well, yeah, but that that was a scary <laughs> game for a whole other reason because yeah. we had drooling crackheads at the door. Trying to get oh, in. Man. Where's my World of Warcraft? I wouldn't play my orc. And you, know, <laughs> and, and then you gotta I, beat them off with literally a club. Guys. No, no, I love World of Warcraft players. I do. It, it's just, it's they're stereotypes for a reason. <laughs> it's just, yeah, there are. And those guys. Go, go watch that South Park episode. Uh, and that describes my some of the shit that we saw. That is my favorite. Ep- yes, <laughs> yes. Fuck yes, all the way with that one. Because, yeah, we did see that, and that was bad. I think, uh, did we have the panda event over there? Oh, was... the panda that came in costume? Yeah. Oh, no, that was panda. that was a that was a Halloween story, and <laughs> Grizzly had to deal with that guy. <laughs> I heard we, about we, that. Oh, man, I saw it. Oh, well, by all means, tell the story. Because he did it in my store. <laughs> I didn't know that. No, 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 and then he left. And then Grizz got a hold of him. <laughs> was he dropping his pants? Yep. <laughs> Did he? Who'd he hump? Uh, he didn't hump anyone of my story. I think he, he humped was just Grizz. Trying to twerk. I think he humped Grizz. <laughs> We're gonna need uh, Grizz for. Uh, yeah, for we need Grizz stories. for this story because. But there was. <laughs> long story short, yeah. there was a guy dressed in a panda suit, had on like Daisy Duke shorts over the panda outfit, and he would come into the store. Drop trowel, still be covered obviously as a panda, and would twerk and air hump. Yeah, and, until uh, until people got tired of it and, uh, and creeped complained. out. Yes, and it was creepy. It turns yep. out this was a homeless dude. I I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, he was a homeless dude. Oh man, we need Grizz for that story. Yeah, Grizz got Grizz, yeah. We'll do the the mall stories as a podcast because this is this is we got so many. This this will be you know, like a, we should do that one all in black and white like clerks. Yes, 
<laughs> yes. We can. I, one of us can dress like Jay and Silent Bob. Yep. <laughs> uh, we had some really good skit ideas. Like me and this guy, I would go in the store and we'd talk. We just bullshit. And this is before I had the guts to actually do something like this. Um, that's that kind of slowly gave birth to the uh, Freddy Krueger idea. Yes, with the. Uh, Initially, we wanted the whole him torturing, not me per se. Somebody. Not trying to go through uh, vi- crappy movies, crappy games. And the way that we were going to end it is I remember online I saw a Freddy Krueger uh, little squirt gun with a face where it would shoot out the water. And what it was, I was going to wake up, have to go take a piss, or the person was going to wake up, have to take a piss. And, you know, do the unzip and have that sitting there and have someone do the voice for it, which would have been wild. Well, we were going to do we were gonna do this face in the toilet, remember? Oh, that one, too. Yeah, we were talking about that. And he, this, this, it was going to squirt water at you. Yep. And, and the thing is, is, is it, that was all well and good. And then I found out how much one of those realistic Freddy Krueger masks are. Mm-hmm. Expensive as all hell. Fuck yes. I'm still going to get one eventually. Fuck that. <laughs> I will send. I will. I will save my pennies, and I will buy one of those fuckers because it's Freddy Krueger. Come on, you know that. But that was the idea, and we wanted to do something like that, and we thought it'd been funny. And didn't didn't we have this idea like like he gets off? Oh, the we were gonna do uh, he's camera like, angles from Resident Evil. Yeah. Yep. Well, we didn't inside the mall. <laughs> for, yes, we did. Yeah, with the corridors and shit. For the uh, Freddy Krueger one, wasn't there like the, a scene where he gets off the toilet and one of the, what was a joke that we you and I had. Where like Freddy's looking up and he's like, "You got hemorrhoids or something, or something like, like that." that. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Oh, but we had all sorts of ideas and like the camera angles for Resident Evil was a good one and uh, that mall would have been perfect like with the access ways and stuff. Yeah. Oh, would have been great for that. We um, we had some pretty decent ideas. Um, we can still there's stuff we can still kind of there's, incorporate. There's still that can happen. We have a, like a vault of stuff that we have talked about and just, just never did. We just sat and talked about shit. But then again, this was a time before I this this is a time when I think both of us thought we couldn't do it. Like we yeah we that we didn't realize that green screen and green screen technology and all that other stuff was a little harder to get a hold of at that time. And. and you know, uh, Cameras were more expensive, more expensive. and, uh, you know, cell phones weren't as good as they are now. There was no you such think, thing this as like a GoPro. like back in 2007, 2008. Yeah, there was no such thing as a GoPro. And, yeah. You know, if it what there was, it, it was probably like thousands of dollars. It was mm-hmm. expensive. So to time this, uh, GameCube was still producing games at yes. this point? Yes. GameCube and I think PlayStation, PlayStation 2. PlayStation 2? Yes. Yep. The Xbox 360 had just barely hit. Mm-hmm. So um, uh, that that would give you guys. Skyward a Sword was still, was coming out at one point. That's right. So I got to launch the Wii. I got to launch the 3DS. I got to launch. the... Well, I was there for the Diablo 3. You know, I yeah. actually went and bought the game for the P- for the PC before it was <laughs> on the consoles, and you know, I had yeah. it pre-ordered. I have the shirt still in my closet somewhere. I still wear it from time to time. It fits me now. I was a bigger guy back then. I've lost weight, <laughs> but oh, wow. uh, we both have shit. Yeah, we have because uh, stress and real life <laughs> getting older. And yeah, that too. <laughs> Let's talk some more about these midnight releases. There was some, there was some really good midnight releases. Uh, I want to say, oh, wow. and you guys would do giveaways and stuff. You guys would do some pretty cool shit. Were you there when, um, I got into an arm wrestling competition with people so they would get a lanyard. I vaguely remember that. Vaguely. So so this is to show you about random... And I was a lot more uh, built then because I was boxing and stuff like that. And, uh, oh man, I think I went up against like five or six different people in a row. And, of course, the sixth person is the one that got it. What game was it? It was a Call of Duty game. Oh, it was okay. a Call of Duty game. Oh, was it the one that came with the goggles? Maybe. Uh, the, Maybe. It? I can't remember, because that's the one I got. I, I only got, like... You know, there's only a few instances where I paid that extra money for that cool shit that came with it. No. And that Call of Duty was especially... It got, you got the... <laughs> Night vision goggles, and I thought that was cool as shit. I still got them here somewhere. Uh, let's see here. 
What other games did I get the chance to launch? <laughs> Way too many. World of Warcraft. Um, that mall is a different type of that. Halo. Halo 3. I... <laughs> Halo and, and this. Uh, yeah, I did Halo Wars as I well. So too. I, I, I did Halo it. Reach. I did... Oh, man. And just... The fandom that you see is it's pretty amazing. Oh, there are some really good dress like people dressing up too. Yeah, know? there were some people that cosplayed. Well, um, were you there when we when they did the cuz remember they they remade the um well they didn't remake them but they re, re put them out the uh, the prequels to Star Wars and we had a good you and I had a yeah. good friend mutual friend that yeah. worked at the uh theater. The theater. Yep. Yeah, did you get to see some of the cosplay for that? I did not. I was working uh, two jobs and going to school at the same time where I'd have about maybe an hour or two where I could sleep. Mm -hmm. And There was a... What was that old movie that had Danny McBride in it? And it had one really hot chick and it was about... like He was like the dumb brother and it was like based off almost like a really bad uh, D&D game. <laughs> You know what I'm, I'm talking about. Remember. I know what you're the talking about. The fucking is all I remember from this. <laughs> the guy, the guy, like he's like gonna have sex with a princess chick or whoever, and the guy keeps calling it the fucking and that's all I remember. And from then on out, I've used that term because I think it's fucking hilarious. That was probably the one funny thing in that movie because the movie sucked. You know what releases I hated? What's that? The Madden releases. Oh yes. Well then, by then the Madden games were kind of annoying, and you get the bro gamers. Well, you get the bro gamers. You know what I mean? Yeah. You get those guys like, "Hey, can we play with my friends? Or we're gonna play this game. It'll be great." And, you know, you got you got bro gamers with like Call of Duty. You know, but it was a different kind of bro gamer. Those guys were like, they they were cool. It was actual gaming. Like with, for me, so, and so it's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Is I know this as well because uh, I did work at the uh, Navy base that's local here. Um, in their electronics department, which they fucking loved me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but because we were so close to that Navy base when we would do the midnight launches, we would get a lot of those guys coming over. And uh, a good, like, 95%, 97% were great people. Yeah. There were 3% that would be trouble. Football! I remember I had to kick one out. How do you... How, well, how does someone fuck up during, like, a, a midnight launch of, like, Madden? It's too rambunctious. I came in <laughs> drunk, guys. I got so excited for this Madden game. The Madden... Oh, like, after a boy. while, after a certain point, the Madden game started sucking. Like, how excited can you get? <laughs> Pretty damn excited still. I guess, you know, if you like those games, you know what, that's that's all you. Good job, but I, I just, I can't get into that. Like, this guy hates FIFA. I can't get into that. I like that game. We should get uh, you to play FIFA. I think someone I'm not asked. i play FIFA. You should play FIFA. But they can ask all they want. <laughs> Boy, the Borderlands Well, game. Borderlands 2. Borderlands wasn't expected to be uh, as great. And to be honest... Borderlands 2 is one of my favorite games over Mine too, Borderlands. Actually. Mine too, actually, because the first it, one was kind of boring. It was it was boring. All your story content was all in the mission stuff. And uh, and 3 is coming out. We didn't even yep. mention that. Oh, yeah, 3. three. That got announced recently. That's, <clears throat> recently. That's going to be a thing. Mm -hmm. And some stuff. <laughs> a gajillion it, guns. Oh god, we'll see. We'll see how that turns out. But you know, <laughs> we're it's... we're actually uh, segue. We're playing Borderlands on uh, my stuff right now. We just did the first episode. Oh, nice. Yeah, Borderlands. Borderlands is a good game. The first. Oh, game? Borderlands too. Oh, okay. I was gonna say. And you know what? Spoiler. Um, the bunkers and badasses DLC. The ending of it. That kind of kicks you in the dick too. Like your heart in the dick. With a. Uh... <laughs> Tiny Tina? Yeah. Her speech and all that, 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 yeah. Well, Tiny Tina's story in general, even without the DLC, is... Yeah. Fucked up, but... Kind of tragic. <laughs> but she's so she's... goofy and funny that you just fall in love with her as a character. And, 
everyone was hoping that she was going to be a playable character in 3. Don't Maybe be. DLC? Maybe DLC. Or, yeah, because, you know, they, they made it to where you can be one of the, one of the, what, I forget what character it was, one of the dudes who wears the mask. Oh, the psycho yeah, creep. The psycho character. Who has the funniest dialogue in the game. Because he talks it's normal in his random. head, right? But it comes out as, like, the stupidest shit, like, you get that. I'm the conductor of the poop train. <laughs> yeah. That trailer. Oh, man. The trailer was great. <laughs> She's the uh, most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And he's like, don't say... Don't say poop train. Don't say poop train. <laughs> I'm the contractor of the poop train! Oh, oh. it's such a good... It, the writers then, for that are actually pretty damn good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, another one I remember was Left 4 Dead 2. Oh, Left 4 Dead 2, yeah. Uh, that's still one of my favorite games to this day. Yeah, I, I have horror stories about that game. Me too. Me too. I have a buddy named Maximus that loves the witch. <laughs> like, he would honestly constantly try and, and crown her, but he never could do it right. So he'd be like, he'd hear her cry, and I've told this story several times, but I'm going to do it anyway because it's funny. Go for it. I've heard, he'd hear her cry, and all of a sudden you hear his character, fuck this, I'm going to go, and we're all like over here, right? He's like, fuck this, I'm going to go, there's a witch, I'm going to fucking get, I'm like, Max, you're, that's a bad idea because, you know, that never ends well for you. Oh, no, I'm going to do it this time. And then I hear, bang! And I hear her screaming, ah! And he's, like, screaming, too. And so he runs by me. She pushes me out of the way. She is, like, dead for his ass. And he's just screaming. And next thing you know, he dies. And we're all trying to kill her. And it's just ended badly for him. So we bring him back. And I'm like, did you learn your lesson? He's like, nope. <laughs> nope. Now, every time we get to that exit point or whatever, I'm either grabbed by a... Uh, the liquor. The li liquor. We'll call him a liquor. Yeah. The the, the tank comes out and decides that person that's two feet away from me, I don't care about. True, who's ninety yards away. Fuck that guy. <laughs> yep. It still is a good game, you know. Where where's Left for Dead Three with the shocker? That's what I'm waiting for. Yeah. With... <laughs> The shocker. The how's shocker. Your, or your the showstopper. The showstopper. How's your booty feel? You remember the Assassin Creed launch? <sighs> yeah. Everyone was like head over heels for Assassin's Creed and I You know, the first game with the trailer, the song in it. Yeah. Freaking was great. <laughs> and Yeah. But then the second game was the exact same fucking game. And then the third game Except was you could swim. You can yeah, swim. True, but still, <laughs> that's it, you know, I, it's almost as exciting as when like you could swim in GTA, right? Like for the longest time, <laughs> water would kill you. Yep. And then all of a sudden, GTA, you could swim, and it's like everyone's fucking pants flew off. Everyone loved it. And and this is what sucks about the midnight launch things. Ever since they've increased the digital marketplace sales and all that other stuff, they don't happen as much. It's a, yeah. And they do satellite launches where if you're in California, you can get it at 9 p.m., yeah. which is great for us and everything like that. But I, I miss the days of standing in line. Well, you got that with your Switch. Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> you know, and, and we got but, but the video to prove it. how does that happen? Not much anymore. Exactly. But the thing is, is, is everything nowadays is about, is about how... Instant gratification. Instant gratification and convenience. So, yeah. and, and we said this in the, the GameStop podcast, a lot of it is, um, I mean, even for me, I'm, I'm guilty of it too. Do I want to go and stand in line and then be told to buy three or four things that I didn't want? Or do I want to mm -hmm. just order online and get it right away? Or, you mm -hmm. know, wait a few days, depending on how much you want to pay. Or get it digital. Or get it digital, which, you know, that's, that's a thing too. So it, yeah. all, dep it all depends on what you want to do and how you want to do it. There, there is something to standing in line and because you know, with your job, your old job and me going there, there is yeah. something to standing in line and actually having a friendly conversation. But the and problem getting is getting new gamer tags or exactly. PlayStation Network handles and having more people to play with. Exactly, you get that. You get that. You know, even going, hey man, you know what's your what's your what's your PlayStation name or what's your Xbox name or, you know, what's your Nintendo 3DS name, yeah. whatever. 
what have you. And you can, it, it's a great way, yeah, it's a great way to go back and forth and make new friends. But the thing is, is nowadays, especially with GameStop, and we, we said this, GameStop makes their employees horror everything out. And mm-hmm. that just makes the, it almost makes it forced. And if you I was something. held to that standard, too. You, uh, I know you. I remember we talked about this. You hated it. I didn't it. follow it. <laughs> yeah, you hated it. A lot of people did. In fact, about the time you, uh, maybe a little longer than when you left, it was getting really bad. Yeah. You know, it was you and like and two I other people. I just want to say, I'm like one of two people I know that did not get fired. <laughs> yeah. You know, and that, that's that's the issue there, is that if you force something, if I'm like, you know, hey, you know, by the way, you need to buy this. Or, by the way, oh, oh, you didn't buy this, you need to buy this. You need to, oh, oh, you got to buy this. You got to buy this too with it. And, you know, oh, oh, you know, and by the way, that comes with a, that comes, with, you know, that comes with this, that, and the other thing if you want to get it. Or you can get the, uh, the, the game strategy. Oh, that'd be great too. And, you know, it's, I don't, don't, don't I'm go all car of that cartoon. You know which one I'm talking about? Uh, yes, yes. Yeah, the don't, GameStop one. Don't go all car salesmen on us. And, I mean, I, I'm. We've said it before. I'm preaching. I'm just going in circles now, full circle. But uh, yeah, that's the problem. Is it? And that, that's where that's where becoming sociable at a GameStop is dead. That's mm-hmm. why people would rather do online. You know, Amazon, PlayStation Network. You know, oh, Xbox uh, Network, Xbox Live, <laughs> Xbox Live. You know, all that stuff. And that's. I'm just preaching. But it's the fact. Of the matter is, is that's the issue. And you take the humanity, uh, the humanity out of being human, and you try and get robots to sell you something. And and that's why I think you and I became friends the way we did, and you became friends with the most of the people in my store, was we weren't robots. We, spoke we our would mind. actually uh, talk uh, and recommend shit. <laughs> yeah. Well, I would. I'd be like, "What's this game? How's this game?" And like, it sucks. I should yeah. tell you it's good, but it sucks. I'm like, okay, good. I'm not going to get that game. Then. Fuck that Like game. Lair. <laughs> uh, I, I wish uh, Sam36 was here. Because he'll have to be here for the Mall Stories one. Yo, he's going to be here for the Mall Stories. Because he, he was there too. <laughs> him and I reminisce quite a bit. Well, for the Humping Panda. That, man. I just want to say dragons can fly upside down. In spite I know of who you're talking about with that one. I was halfway there for that conversation. I say halfway oh because I think I walked in towards the end of it. And that guy got really angry. Do you remember I was near the back door, like on my knees, laughing? Yes. At how bad this was. Well, you knew. I think you knew he was going to get that bad. Yeah. Because... And but I remember, because remember, I think it started from what I heard. It started, or at least when I got there, we were talking about Dragon Guard or something along those no, lines. No, no, it was Lair. Lair. That's, why. That's what it was. I'm sorry, Lair. On the PS3, the launch. And it was one of the launch titles. Where maybe I think Dragon Guard because there's a point where the dragon is flying upside down. Yeah. Not they're not made for that, and it's just going on and on and on and on. And it was funny. It was a good conversation. But these types of conversations are what the world needs in a GameStop. Exactly. Or any, get, or any uh, okay, or okay. In a perfect, in perfect world, in a perfect where, world. Uh, if you were to own your own video game uh, retailer franchise, yes. What would some of the things you? What would be some of your rules? My and rules? this is the type of conversations we would have. Yes. Working at the mall. Yes. It would. So be. you guys are getting to see. You're getting a little bit of that right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my rules would be one. Uh, kind of like the rules for the podcast. Nothing religious, unless it's a video game, you know, video or yeah. or politics, unless it's video game politics, yeah. you know, like the Senate for, you know. Uh, or Metal Gear Solid. Or Metal Gear Solid, yeah, <laughs> stuff like that. You know, those would be the two big rules. Everything, I mean, of course, you know, don't fucking go and touch these mothers of children who are trying to, you know, don't get nasty no. with them. You know, come here, baby, I'll give you another kid. No, you don't do that. But that's, yeah. you know, and everything else, everything else that literally goes with the job. I'm not. How, how about not fucking your customers with the trade-ins? Oh, well, that's, that's, <laughs> that, that is what uh, GameStop is known for. People yeah. go there. People go there for the games. They stay for the butt fucking. <laughs> oh. But, 
Yeah, no, honestly, I would give maybe a percentage because I, I get why they do it because they got to make money. They got to make gotta, a profit. They got to continuously yeah. make money, and because especially now with all this other shit out, it's hard. No. But with that being said, you're gonna get butt fucked. It's just not not with yeah not necessarily if I had my own franchise because I'd probably go out of business. I'd be that oh oh. <laughs> You know, no lube or anything, you know. Um, uh. But I'd probably go out of business, but I'm, I I see, th- I'd rather be honest. I'd rather be, yeah. you know, and I'd want my guys, I want the, the, the employees to go, this game sucks. You know, if, if it's, you know, or if it's a good game for a kid, oh yeah, this would be perfect for your child. Don't go, you know, don't, don't sell Grand Theft Auto to a fucking crying child because his mom doesn't know better. Yeah, give me what I want. And yeah. then, and then, like you know, just just ignoring the ESRB rating, and then going home playing it, and then like, oh, there's titties in this game. My child doesn't need to see that, and blaming you guys, you know, or or you know, the gaming. They didn't really care about the sexual content. They got mad at the alcohol and drug references. Really, they didn't care that they beat on fucking hookers and shit. Wow, you can degrade women all you want. But when it comes to <laughs> sexual and sexual reference, alcohol references, well, fuck that. We're taking this game back. <laughs> We're done. We're done. No drugs, no alcohol. This is why I think humanity is failed to be doomed. We are like fucked as a species, guys. Three's, um, Diamond Edition. Mm, yep. I was working. How am I supposed to go reserve it? At the only retailer that's gonna carry it. Well, they did. They did the same thing with again, Nintendo, the Nintendo Classic, which mm-hmm. really pissed us off. Which is why that I'm like, I don't want to say his name, but because he might appear. Nintendo Overlord. The, the Nintendo Overlord exists. <laughs> exactly. That's why he exists because that was bullshit. Playing the the doing that to your your fans, be it be it a game, be it a console, is a bullshit tactic. And that's a fuck you to everybody that loves you. <laughs> and I don't love you no more because of it. Going home. Liar. Oh, I still Who has a Switch now? I do have a Switch now. <laughs> fuck you. And that thing is amazing. So fuck that. <laughs> Careful, if we start talking too much Nintendo, he will appear. I know. In fact, I shouldn't even said the N-word right now. <laughs> Asshole would be my television again. I, you know what I did? I had to do like three freaking exorcisms on that fucking thing to get him out. I had to call he like 12 gone. priests. They were mumbling. He's, he's like Monica. Oh. You just think he's gone. But, so, yeah. So let's talk about one last thing. Yes. Let's talk about our creative process when it's you and me. All right. Oh, yeah, that's actually an interesting topic. Uh, right? Because <laughs> we come up with shit sometimes right out of our assholes other times mm-hmm. you'll throw a pitch or i'll pitch something to you and it just goes back and forth and becomes it matures into something magical yeah like the uh 12 uh, days of coal the 12 days of coal yeah that started off with that started off actually you know as, as we were talking like there's a whole mm-hmm. skit with freddy krueger and we we're like how are we gonna because we yeah i don't know if we want to do the set that type of skit right now we're a little older and our 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 humor levels are a little different than what it was, you know. And, back... and it's uh, it's Christmas. <laughs> it's Christmas. How are we going to incorporate Freddy Krueger? So we sat and we we thought about it. And for and the the funny thing about it, especially Twelve Days of Coal, the funny part about this is that all of that was improvised. Mm-hmm. We sat in a room and just okay. You got to You got to tell the story. Which one about the the fuck you part? <laughs> Oh, the, the the fuck you! Oh, um, <laughs> shit. I'm um, okay. What part do you want me to tell? I can't remember all of it off the top of my head. Where it was just improvised, it and was. we kept it because we loved it so much, and we laughed at it so much. We we probably laughed at that. That's what we, we probably said the words "fuck you" back and forth more than we probably should have. I think I edited a lot of that out because it was it it started getting old, but it wasn't old to us. We thought it was hilarious. <laughs> So, the part where you're <laughs> oh, I, flipping I get me it. off with I the glove. I, I know what you At this point, I know what you're talking about. Yep. So, what happens is is he's talking, and we're, again, we're improvising, and I'm, I'm looking at him, and he goes, and I said I said whatever I said, and he goes, fuck you. And, I'm, I, and I was already like this. And I look at the glove, and I'm like, what else can I say? No, 
I know your worst fears, motherfucker. No, that's not possible. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, you know? So, so I said it back with like a much angrier tone. And, and I thought that would work. And it, it did. When we stopped, we just busted up laughing so much. I will, I think we busted up laughing about a second afterwards when it hit us. <laughs> <laughs> like it did this and it, of course it's the shadow and i love i love that we did that that was so cool yeah that idea i came up with like we were trying to figure it out we were trying to see if we we're gonna do like a half shadow or whatever it was like well why don't we just film the wall and we'll shine the light on you yes and we and funny thing was that i think it was a flashlight and and one of my mugs it was my phone yes flashlight and a coffee cup yes. holding it at the right angle. It was it was the coffee cup you used for the the eggnog, is what. Yeah, it was. and then I was laying down with the camera like that to yeah. get the yeah and the angle. Fuck you and you, so and that was funny because and then I explained it to him after that because I was trying to figure out like well how do you respond to that how would Freddie respond to something like that? Freddie don't give a fuck. <laughs> well, some of the comments that. Um, wild would make in the freddy voice <laughs> it was hard to keep the not wanting to laugh and be more angry at the game or uh angry at him one of my favorites one of my favorites was uh yeah the, the it's hard to keep acting so one of my favorites was when you were doing the we we're watching the movies and uh, yeah. it was the it was the fish that hits the window and i go run bitch she's trying to impregnate you <laughs> to this day, to this day, that makes me laugh so hard. But there's, oh, you know, there's like that. You're like, you're like, I'm not. Oh, the the uh, Avatar, the Last End, Airbender, yeah. with the dick thing, and you're like, I'm not gonna say it. You're not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say. It. Not ignore. I go. <laughs> it looks like a dick. <laughs> oh man, I I kind of wish we had another camera because that would have been a great behind the scenes. Well, I still have um, I still have a lot of the uh, footage. That scary game we did for uh, the one with Sam thirty six and Grizz. Oh, and, you're you know, talking about Dead by Daylight. Dead by Daylight. Thank you. Yes. Yes. So the reason we had some pretty good video, but through my whole setup, going through a capture card and everything like that, I was getting horrendous lag. So I'd move on my controller and it'd be like this on the screen, and then it would start to go. That is the story of the stupid box that kept saving him. I love that box. That when I, when I started having fun with it because like he'd follow me and he's like fucking box. I'm like thank you box. <laughs> You're the best thing ever. You know, it was great. And then like these guys, everyone would start laughing because this poor guy would have the worst luck. But the thing is, is is it it started off because we were trying to get multiple angles. We we're trying to yeah, get like his gameplay, my gameplay. And uh, unfortunately, it, it it was slowing down because of the because of the capture device he was using. And I mean, it happens. Which uh, I don't have anymore. Yeah. I got rid of that piece of garbage. <laughs> Fuck you. We've gotten past so many hiccups and stuff like that, like the uh, epilogue for Doki Doki Literature Club. Oh yeah. I came up with the the Monica speech. What was it? Four days before you were going to publish that video? Yeah. Well, we had another plan for it, too. Yeah. And we still kind of. We'll see. We'll see, yeah. But it was one of those things that's like we had a lot of uh, real life come up. A lot up of shit happened. For uh, everyone. And uh, so I was like, well... And we were talking on the phone. I was like, well, why don't I just write the epilogue? And uh, Oh, yeah. And we went back. I'll do it in character. And I was just like... Yoki. But did you notice that after the song stopped and she started talking, they sound quite a bit alike? Yeah. I had, yeah. like, three people come to me and go, did you ever sing that? I'm like, no, that's straight <laughs> from the game. And yeah. she hadn't played the game when she did the first recording. One of the other things that we overcame and all that was... Um, the press start to continue uh, episode of the Super NES Classic Review. Mm -hmm. uh, when I had trouble coming up with the end slate oh, yeah. and all that That's other true. stuff. 
and you did the edit with the arrow pointing to where it was going to. Oh, yeah. yeah. And he did the voice for uh, <laughs> the the rating system. Did I? Oh, yeah. I did. That's that right. <laughs> That's right. That was... I forgot about that. that was... Yeah. Oh, don't worry. I still have the audio files saved. Good. So. <laughs> Good. You can use those. Those are fucking... <laughs> Yeah, so we, we have our processes, and, and, and again... The, the, the announcement for the banner of the thing for the last stream, that idea that we came up with, you guys are going to love it, and you better the video it. announcement for it. <laughs> It'll be fun. Like, that's one of the things that we try to do is... Uh, be a little original. We, yeah, we've come up with ideas that have been done before, like the let's talk about games. And, uh, you know, some people are just like, oh, you're just uh, acting like Cinemassacre. And now you're acting like this. And you know what? It, it, it... He and I had talked about that before. And his whole approach to it, it's nothing against uh, Mike Matei or anything like that. I love those um, guys. Those guys are great. Yeah. And uh, he he has his own original style. Like, some people said the 12 days of coal in your stocking was very AVGN-ish, which, you know, well, there's, I didn't it, take as a bad thing. I, I live by, there's nothing in this world that's really original. Exactly. But you can try and make it yours. Okay? And and that's what we tried to do. And what? Um, and, and some of the ideas that we come up with that are original and we talked about, we've seen done before. Yeah. And with... Uh, press start to continue there's a band out there named press start to continue and i was worried when we did the super nintendo review because i even told you i was like dude we're gonna have to change we're gonna have to come up with something new nah. and you're like nah we, we're not a we're not a band we're we're, we're, we're this yeah. you know what i haven't seen what's that someone run through a paintball field for uh donations for dog shelter yeah <laughs> to uh to uh chariots of fire <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah that was that was a uh, magical you know uh, for for a huge guy i was booking it well, this was also in the summertime i think this was about a month from today it was july yeah oh, it was in july, was in july. right so it was in in california central california no less I think it was hot like as fuck that day. <laughs> hot as fuck and they're like do you want to do it wild i'm like fuck no <laughs> no no, you want to see me die of a heart attack? Yeah. <laughs> he was like, I don't know, man. I don't know. Well, I told him, like, I, I don't know like, if you should do this, but... We got to do something for these guys. So, that's another creative problem. We don't agree on every time. Well, that's to be expected, you know? Yeah, but, I mean, we still manage to produce the content that we produce. And I know I haven't been around as often with, you know, the podcast. Well, life... Yeah, like, so but I've been getting the Nerd Chronicle videos out. Like, he came up with the title. I came up with the yeah, idea we, we of just kind of vlogging. Like, yeah, we vlog kind of thing. And... And, and, and it's just, that's one of the great things about, and you know, they say don't do, like, business with your friends and all that other stuff. We're, and, we're friends first. Yeah. And, and, I mean, that's the thing. I guess to summarize everything, we met over a decade ago. Um, we have similar personalities. We both have opinionated personalities. The friendship that we have is way more than important who's, uh, who's right. Yeah. Well, that's the problem nowadays is, is pride gets in the way of a lot of people. And of course, the, again, it comes back to being a content creator. When something negative is thrown your way, it's easy to go, oh shit, this person didn't like it. Or you can go, oh, that didn't, that person didn't like it, but I'm happy with it. It's it's pride. If it, they hurt your pride, the, the the automatic human response is to fight back, is to is to go against it, and yeah, that's just honestly a dumb way to go because no. And one like the first Nerd Chronicles video I did, I was like, oh dude, I don't know, it doesn't look like it's getting traction, many views as everything else, you know, everything else that I've done, like the Super Nintendo review, the Twelve Days of Coals, mm -hmm. those had views instantly. And Nerd Chronicles was like this whole well, it's, slow build. It's all about continuity. That's the thing. He was like, you know, don't worry about it. It was good. I'm happy with it. Don't yeah. beat yourself up over it. And that's one of the things I have to tell him, too. You know, don't beat yourself up over it. 
Yeah, there's times. Well, we all have. Everyone has their weak moments. We're yeah. only human, you know. Like this is where we need Panda to do the writing tip of the day. Oh shit! <laughs> I'll see you soon. <laughs> but uh, yeah, before we ramble on too long about everything and anything, uh, happy friendiversary via Facebook Wild. <laughs> happy friendiversary, there, true. <laughs> We're um, we're friends for seven years. Is that what it said? Seven years. Said seven years. For seven years. We've been friends for seven years, thanks to Facebook. Yeah. So I guess the last thing to summarize is just now you guys kind of kind of an idea of our humor. Well, it just gives you a small little window into our creative process and everything like that. There's a nerdy topic. We are nerds. Yeah. Well, you know what I mean. Yeah, I get what you mean. Um. So. I guess the best advice is you guys can do this too. It's not hard. Well, that's and, the thing. Uh, Again, we thought it was so difficult that it was impossible at one point. Hopefully this inspires you to do your own projects or anything like that. And um, just find yourself a group of chill friends. So, follow us on Discord. Nerd is a new sexy entertainment. Uh, like us on Facebook. Nerd is a new sexy entertainment. Twitter. Instagram, uh, follow us there. Uh, YouTube, subscribe. So follow us all on there. Um, if you want to see some shenanigans of stuff I'm doing as a Let's Play series, we got Borderlands 2 uh, Let's Play going of that with four people. That's and, on uh, his channel. That's on yeah, uh, uh, PSTC. Check it out. We're putting content out, and it's going to be interesting collaboration of yes. saturday morning rpg yeah that's gonna be a fun game we've been waiting to do that for a while and then oh yeah i guess i can mention that now either next month or the next the month after i'm gonna do a full month of all the pod not the full month like not 30 days he's gonna do four or five weeks worth of uh, movie podcast movie podcasts, which it looks like because i put that on the the facebook page as a poll and it looks like everyone's saying yes so and everyone uh, should go vote on that uh, anyway, guys, I think with that said and done, we're done. I think we're going to end the podcast. We thank you for Yeah, we're going to call it there. Um, wild. Uh, good to be back. I'll probably be back one more time this year. <laughs> you, were, you were never truly gone. Oh. See what I did there? Truly Let me gone. tell you about my best, best friend. friend. We thank you for watching. Once again, thank you for listening. We'll see you next week. If nothing goes awry, stay nerdy. Stay sexy always see you on the next one